In the evening of Monday, October 11, a Ryanair Boeing 737-800 departed Tenerife South Airport bound for Brussels South Charleroi Airport, operating as Flight 8179. To the northwest, on the island of La Palma, the Cumbre Vieja volcano has been erupting since September 19. According to Reuters, torrents of molten rock have destroyed 1,186 buildings in the three weeks since the eruption, the Canary Islands Volcanic Institute said, and forced the evacuation of about 6,700 people. To monitor volcanic activity, ICAO has designated nine VACs, volcanic ash advisory centres, around the world to provide their expertise to civil aviation in case of significant volcanic eruptions. The VAC responsible for monitoring this area is based in Toulouse, and experts there had produced an advisory for where volcanic ash was forecast to impact aviation at the time of the flight's departure. Those forecasts are indicated on the map, with the first valid from 1500 Zulu moving east at 15 knots, and the next at 2100 Zulu. Both were forecast to impact altitudes from the surface to flight level 120. Previous aircraft departing to the northeast were assigned either the Seymar 8 Echo or Vasto 7 Echo departures. Both were outside the forecast areas of volcanic ash, and air traffic control was approving aircraft to track direct to the SID termination waypoint where appropriate. When Flight 8179 departed, the crew maintained runway heading and climbed, as per the Seymar SID. The crew stopped the climb at 5,000 feet and turned right towards the Gran Canaria VOR DME, as per the Vasto SID, while resuming their climb. Shortly after turning back towards the northeast, the crew again stopped the climb at flight level 220. The crew decided to declare an emergency and requested a return to Tenerife due to a problem with both engines, presumably due to having ingested volcanic ash. Air traffic control vectored the aircraft into a hold in clear airspace to the south of Fuerteventura, while the aircraft burned fuel and the crew prepared for their arrival. The aircraft's quick reference handbook states that volcanic ash can cause non-normal system indications such as engine malfunctions, increasing EGT, engine stall or flame out, decrease or loss of airspeed indications, equipment cooling off-flight, it also prescribes that crew should plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. When the aircraft arrived back to Tenerife on runway 07, passengers reported that emergency services were waiting to receive the aircraft. The aircraft returned to service two days later. In the morning of Wednesday, October 13, another Ryanair Boeing 737-800 departed Manchester bound for Lanzarote in the Canary Islands operating as Flight 2131. The aircraft was climbing out of runway 23 right when the crew interrupted the climb at 4,000 feet due to a bird strike. The crew elected to abort the flight and land the aircraft, and entered a hold while the crew attempted to restart the impacted right engine. A passenger reported that the bird strike was so loud it scared the whole plane. A passenger in front of me saw it and said it was a big white bird. The captain said it was engine two that was affected, and although he said it seemed happy, it didn't sound happy. They also added that the plan initially was to return to Manchester. However, Manchester was being impacted by mist and low clouds, whilst more favourable meteorological conditions were available in Liverpool. A ground observer noted that the engine sounded really rough, and he thought it was a speedboat on the Manchester Ship Canal at first. Another replied that it sounded like a broken turboprop at 3,000 feet. The aircraft landed safely on runway 27 about 55 minutes after departing Manchester, where the passengers were transferred onto a new aircraft and flown on to their destination. On Saturday, October 16, DAT, formerly Danish Air Transport, farewelled their final McDonnell Douglas MD-80 with a special flight from and to Copenhagen in Denmark. The airline offered tickets aboard the 90-minute event flight for 1,990 kroner and included an MD safety card, t-shirt, drinks and snacks. 
the aircraft was flown by the airline's CEO, Jesper Rangham. This particular aircraft was leased by Coca-Cola to carry the trophy of the 2014 FIFA World Cup and still sports the livery, sans Coke logo and commemorative titling. In previous weeks, the aircraft had service destinations within Denmark and around Europe, including Parma, Porto and Pisa. The aircraft was first delivered to Air Tours International Airways in November 1990 and had five other operators before joining the DAT fleet in 2010. There are currently 160 MD-80 series aircraft still in service across passenger, freight and charter operations, with the largest operators being American Cargo Airline USA Jet Airlines, Mexican Airline Aeronavas TSM and the Miami-based World Atlantic Airlines. On the evening of Thursday, October 14, a TUI Airlines Belgium Boeing 7378 MAX was being delivered from Seattle Boeing Field to Brussels as Flight 981 Foxtrot. The aircraft was climbing to the north when the crew requested to stop the climb at 15,000 feet and a following amended clearance stopped the climb at 13,000 feet. The crew declared Pan Pan and reported flight control problems and were cleared to maintain between 11 and 15,000 feet. Shortly after, the crew requested vectors back towards Boeing Field and advised that they had the ability to maintain altitude to within 1,000 feet. The aircraft landed at Boeing Field about 35 minutes after departing. The following afternoon, the aircraft was successfully delivered to Brussels. <laughs>